Guys and gals, thank you so much for being here, being a part of this video. Before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to RTS. If you guys need fuel card or factory, hit them up. I've used their fuel card for about a year and a half now. I've already got three separate upgrades. Currently, we're on the Cost Plus program, which gets us on average 55 cents off a gallon at Pilot and Flying J. Um, when I go over to Pennsylvania and the East Coast, we're actually getting way bigger discounts, getting over a dollar, two dollars off a gallon. I'll show a couple of those posts right now. We had to work towards that. We've only been with them for a year and a half, but if you start with them now, within a year, you're going to be having really really good discounts and they actually have a really good starting discount at 12 cents off per gallon at most fuel stations and so they can really help you out so hit them up kenneth at rts if you sign up through my link i get a little bit of a kickback you get a kickback as well you could also sign up for their factory and the factory is really good they're going to start you at three percent but if you pair it with a fuel car chances are you get 2.75 percent which is going to be one of the best rates on factoring that you're going to see they're a very good established company that are going to help you out and they're going to be able to factor those loads you won't have to worry about getting paid they're going to work well for you so so hit them up for fuel card and factoring. What is going on guys and gals? It is your boy JLo coming back at you with another video guys. In this video, like the title says, we'll be talking about if you should get into Hotshot in 2023. Guys and gals, thank you so much for being a part of this video. Thank you for being a part of this channel. Thank you for supporting me um, and just being here. You know, if you're new here, my name is Jason Love. I'm co-owner of Flash Logistics LLC. We started with one non-CDL hotshot setup back in October of 2020. Currently, we have four CDL hotshot setups leased on, as well as two semi-trucks that we own. One pulling a 48-foot flatbed and one pulling a 53-foot step deck. Um, and I make the same video once a year. So if you go back, you can see uh, why you should get into hotshot trucking in 2022 and why you should get into hotshot trucking in 2021 this this uh this video is no different just 2023 i never watched the videos back so i try to go directly off of my off of my brain uh, what i've learned over the past year and kind of a, good, a couple good reasons why i think you should get into it or if i think you shouldn't get into it i make that video as well um, but in this video, I have a couple good reasons, I think, of why you should get into hotshot trucking in 2023. Um, the first one is going to be accessibility of equipment, guys. This is something that's very, very important. It's something a lot of people don't think about. And it's not even accessibility of equipment like it's easy to find equipment. It's more accessibility to be able to purchase or pur purchasable ability, if that's a word, which it's not. But we're going to use it. So what I mean by that, guys, is... When we first started our trucking company, when we got the idea to start our trucking company, we wanted to go buy a semi truck. We wanted to start semi truck. I had never heard about hotshot trucking. You know, I got the idea to start a trucking company and we tried to buy a semi truck. So first off, you know, we did everything we needed to do. We applied for authority numbers. Uh, you know, we started just touching every box. You know, what I was learning on YouTube, we were implementing, you know, and trying to build this trucking company. Um, but then we got to the point where it's like, okay, let's go buy a semi truck. And I thought it'd be a lot easier, and so did the guy. You know, we both had good credit scores. We had good employment. Like, we thought for sure we'd be able to buy a semi-truck. Uh, but we really didn't get any far because neither of us had CDLs, for example. We're like investors. And a lot of companies that are going to loan on a semi-truck are going to want you to have two years um, of uh, tax statements or have, like, an established business before they sell you a truck. It's really hard to be able to, to buy a truck straight out. Um, just having a brand new a brand new um, company and that's why a lot of people do lease to own that's why a lot of people you know sign their lives away with companies to, to own equipment afterwards because it is really hard to get a good um, a good deal or just get a truck in general um, but with hotshot this is the cool thing um, you know a lot of the vehicles you're gonna be using for hotshot like f350 f450 f550 or you know a, a like manufacturer you know whether it's Chevy or whatever um, or Dodge those vehicles you can buy personally. You can buy those, you know, on your own name. You don't have to go through commercial financing. Now, some banks, you know, if they see an F550, they might want it to be a commercial finance, but a lot of banks don't, guys. Like, you go to a normal, everyday, um, you know, Ford dealership that sells those vehicles, has that stock, um, and if you have good credit, you know, if you have... Uh, um, a good work history, you know, if, you, if you've bought a car before, like, you, then you know, this is the, it's the same system for you to buy that truck. Um, and it could be just, uh, you know, a personal, personal purchase. It doesn't have to be commercial. Um, and then that makes life a lot easier. Another thing on top of that is you're going to get better interest rates. A lot of commercial interest rates are going to be 10% and up no matter what. Um, but when you're doing, uh, when you're buying a truck, depending on, you know, obviously your credit, how much money you're putting down, things like that, um, you can get, you know, even in this market with interest rates are high, you can get five, six, seven, eight percent, um, which is going to save you on the bottom line. It's going to lead into the next thing I'm going to be talking about. Um, with the trailer, right, a brand new gooseneck trailer can be a lot more affordable than a brand new, you know, 48 flatbed, drive-in, 
or any of that, you know, you can get a brand new gooseneck 40 footer um, on the low end, like a big text for like $18,000. Um, or you can, you know, if you want more options, you can find good used ones for good prices. Um, but if you want more options and you want to, you know, go bigger, you know, go better. Um, you can be in the 20 to 30 to $40,000 range, really depends, but you're going to have a lot of solid options, you know, from manufacturers around the $18,000 range, maybe even a little bit less. You can find, you know, uh, good used ones from 12 to 13 to 14,000. Um, so you can really get your hands on the equipment you need to do hot shot a little bit easier, especially when you're first starting out, then you would be able to get your hands on a semi truck and a semi trailer. Now, when I'm talking about these things, I'm talking about it from the aspect of somebody getting in, like this is their first shot at um, transportation maybe they drove for somebody for a little bit but this is the first shot of them actually opening their own company or buying their own equipment to lease onto somebody now a lot of this might not be the same if you are somebody who's established but the people who are going to watch this video the people that you know are going to learn from this video are going to be the people that are opening their, their company you know right off the bat and that's what this video is for it's for them so if you're trying to get into you know transportation company you're thinking hot shot or semi you just know that it's going to be easier for you if you have a good credit score good work history whatever um, to get your hands on hot good hot shot equipment and it's not going to cost you nearly as much you can be out the door um, easily you know having a good setup at you know ninety thousand a hundred thousand uh, dollars which with semi with brand new equipment you're gonna be looking closer to two hundred thousand hundred sixty thousand around that area depending on what truck you buy and all that good stuff um, so that's that's the first reason why it's gonna be it make your life so much easier to get you know your hands on that equipment um, to get you on the road and get you going and then after you know two years of running your own hot shot company um, or even you know maybe a year year and a half you can go back and try to get financing on a semi truck um, and build from there but starting out out, and it's going to be a lot easier and um, you can get it done right you can get equipment a uh, second reason why I think you should get into hotshot trucking is gonna be uh, profit per mile and that's something I want to talk about right now um, I hadn't really had much um, history with a full-size truck before we bought ours back in July of 2022 currently have two of them right now and since we bought the equipment um, we've, we've tried out different trailers obviously I bought a 48 flat so that's what we run mostly but I tried out a 53 foot step deck we tried out reefer we tried out all that because it was hard it was harder in my opinion to find loads that would profit with for the semi truck than it was to find loads for um, the hot shots that we, we have leased on um, and obviously the market really I mean we're talking coming out of coming out of winter and everything the market was not that good rates were low and fuel was high right um, but a big thing that that comes to play with that is our profit per mile or our cost per mile I mean one thing about hot shot is you're gonna have a lot less cost per mile than a full-size semi truck in most cases right if you go off the wall with a hot shot set up and stuff um, then you know, you can have just the same cost per mile, um, but you know, because the equipment is going to be a lot more affordable, because most likely you're going to get a better interest rate, your um, your monthly cost for that equipment or your payments are going to be lower than it would be if you had a semi truck and a trailer. Um, and then obviously with your fuel, you're going to have a little bit better fuel economy. Our semi trucks hover anywhere from six uh, miles per gallon to seven miles per gallon, but with Hot Shot, we can hover anywhere from seven miles per gallon to ten miles per gallon. Right, and ten miles per gallon on a truck on a semi truck, you'd be. Whew, doing great right um and so obviously your fuel cost is going to be a little a little cheaper over over the long run obviously you're gonna have better better um uh, fuel economy now how that plays into everything is like you need to understand your your cost per mile right and this is something i tell everybody you know realize, realize how much does it cost you to run every mile that you're moving right and that will really tell you what your profit per mile is because we're not we're not in trucking to break even, right? We're not in trucking to, you know, it'd be cool to do $15,000 a month, but if I'm spending $15,000 a week, but if I'm spending $15,000 a week to make that, you know, we just waste it all of our times, right? There's no reason for it, you know, but with Hotshot, for example, a normal, I'd say a normal rate per mile for a Hotshot um, is gonna be about $1.60 a mile. Um, and our, 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 our cost per mile, or not rate per mile, our cost, a cost for, a normal cost per mile for a Hotshot is gonna be $1.60 a mile. Right now, our cost per mile for our semi is more like two dollars and thirty-five cents per mile. And in a bad market, for example, um, I'm looking for loads that I can at least profit, you know, thirty to forty cents a mile. Like I'm, you know, you know, the crappies right out there. I'm looking for two dollars and eighty cents a mile. Like that's just that's just me, like saying like, hey, we just need to move type of deal, right? 
um, but we got in positions where it was difficult for us to find over two dollars and thirty-five cents a mile. And we were going to move this freight and not and not make any money. And obviously, we would pick loads up that are three fifty, four dollars a mile. You know, sometimes. But in that bad time, you know, where it's 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 it becomes a hassle to be able to dispatch this truck. You know, find these loads that are actually going to make us money. You know, and the driver obviously wants to keep moving because they want to make money. But you know, for me as a business owner, it's like, well, I'm not even profiting. You know, on these miles that we're moving, why even move the truck, right? which is then gonna obviously, you're gonna lose drivers, you know, so you have to keep the truck moving. Um, but with a hot shot, for example, um, cost per mile is $1.60. Now, on a worse, the worst loads that we'll ever take, like the worst, worst, worst loads we'll take is probably $1.65 a mile. And that's just bad. That's just like we're stuck in an area, we might already wait in a day or whatever, you know, we just wanna get out of there, we'll take $1.65 a mile. A lot of the guys live in South Texas, to get out of South Texas, sometimes we'll take $1.65, $1.70. Um, but 95% of the time, we're gonna be over $2 a mile. Without a doubt, we'll be over two dollars a mile. You know, if you guys watch my videos before, and a better market, we're averaging two thirty to two fifty a mile. You know, if you have a bigger setup like what Ray has or what Ruben's driving, you know, we can get over two fifty a mile a good amount of the time. Um, and you know, those are blessings because our, our cost per mile is only a dollar sixty. Um, if we can average two dollars thirty, two dollars forty, two dollars fifty, and in a bad, bad, bad market, we can still be at you know a dollar eighty a mile. We're still profiting twenty cents for every mile. Now with a semi truck in a bad market, if I can't even get over 235, I'm not moving that truck. If I'm not moving that truck, I'm eating the truck payment payment, or the truck payment, I'm eating the, 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 the insurance payment, right? And so I've realized that with Hotshot is like, there might be a lot less freight, but because it's such a niche market, these brokers don't, don't haggle or don't have as much information about these loads as if they would, you know, normal 48, 48 foot flatbed loads. Because those 48 foot flatbed loads, there's so many of them and they're coming out of these same places that these brokers have, you know, 30 day, 90 day, 120 day averages on these loads and they're constantly trying to get it moved for the least amount of money possible. But with Hotshot, a lot of these loads are, are niche loads or they're, they're loads going to job sites. A lot of this stuff is, you know, stuff that might pop up every now and then. They don't have that haggle ability. And a lot of brokers out there don't even know what a hot shot is really they just think it's some sort of a specialized truck so they don't understand the market lanes they don't understand the market rates for a hot shot compared to what they understand for a 48 flatbed or a 53 foot step deck and that's just what i've seen from from us running our full-size semi trucks and our full-size hot shots so really to sum that whole part up is i've seen that in bad bad times it is easier to find profitable hotshot loads than it has been for us to find profitable um, semi truck loads. And that's from us pulling on the low boards. Obviously, people, uh, you know, ultra truckers will get in the comments and be like, well, I make four or 50 a mile all the time and I have these direct shippers and stuff. Yeah, that's perfectly fine and good for you, brother. But for somebody who's brand new, about to open their company, you know, has, let's say, two years of CDL experience um, and wants to get on the road, but let's say has, you know, average credit, has good um, work history and just started, has fresh DOT numbers, they're going to struggle to be able to buy a semi truck. They're gonna to struggle to be able to buy that trailer. But any average Joe with credit score and good job history can go to a dealership and buy an F450 or buy an F350 as long as they qualify from what the banks the bank wants. You know, it's not gonna go on a business at all or you can put it on the business or try to anyways. It's gonna make life a lot easier. So those are the two reasons, guys, I wanna give you of why you should start hotshot trucking in 2023. I think it is a good um, good way to get into transportation. Um, and it's a good way to get on the road, to get over the road, um, to make good money, and to build um, your company and put your company in a position where it can grow more, where you might be able to buy a semi truck down the road or a medium duty, you know, single axle semi or something of that sort in the future. You can start out with a brand new truck, a brand new trailer that's gonna have warranty, that's gonna be affordable, and you can have a lower cost per mile that's gonna give your, you an opportunity to profit even when you're having to take loads that you would normally take or you don't wanna take or aren't paid as much. Um, because another aspect of this I didn't even get into, and this will be to finish the whole the whole video, is a lot of brokers aren't gonna use you when you have fresh authority, the 90 day authorities, right? A lot of people want 90 days, they want six months, they want a year. And so I wanna keep my pro I wanna keep my cost per mile as low as possible at the beginning because 
I want to be able to take freight that we might consider cheaper because those might be my only options because of my new authority, right? Um, and so that's really important as well. You need to realize where can I profit at? What's my bottom dollar? And when you have a semi truck, you know, a lot of these crappy loads for semi trucks, they still require six months or a year, these brokerages, right? And they're dealing with freight that they moved a thousand times. And so I definitely think Hotshot can be a very valuable um, opportunity for somebody out there who wants to do it right, somebody who has CDL experience, wants to get on the road. I don't I don't push anybody into non-CDL Hotshot. I don't think it's uh, a good idea, honestly. I think you're gonna spend just as much money as a CDL Hotshot, um, and you're gonna have high insurance, and you're going to uh, have low rates that you're gonna be messing with, and you're gonna be way too limited. You know, but at the end of the day, guys, if you're gonna get into Hotshot Trucking, um, do your research, make sure you get a 40-foot trailer, Make sure you have tarps, chains, binders, the whole nine. Make sure you have a good truck that has a good warranty on it if you're gonna start out because maintenance can, can kill you and it's not even the cost of maintenance as much as the time off the road. Um, but those are two reasons, guys, why I think Hotshot can be a valuable, a valuable thing for you if you're thinking about getting into the transportation industry and why you should get into Hotshot in 2023. Again, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being part of this channel. If you guys want more one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, please fill out the Google form below. I will be contacting those who fill it out. We can set up some consultation to help you get started on your hotshot and trucking journey. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope you all have a great day.